My name is Emily. I am 19 years old. I live in a small town in Canada. My life is very boring. Every day is the same. I wake up. I go to school. I come home. I do my homework. I go to sleep. Nothing exciting ever happens. My parents are good people. They want me to be safe. They want me to have a good job. They want me to stay in our small town. But I want more. I want to see the world. I want to have adventures. I want to meet new people one day. I tell my parents about my dreams. They are not happy. They say the world is dangerous. They say I should stay home. They say I should be happy with my life. But I am not happy. I want to change my life. One morning, something different happens. I get a letter. The letter is from my Aunt Sarah. I never meet Aunt Sarah. She lives in Australia. The letter says she wants me to visit her. She wants me to stay for the summer. I am very excited. This is my chance for adventure. I show the letter to my parents. They are not happy. They say Australia is too far. They say it is too dangerous. But I beg them. I tell them this is important to me. Finally, they agree. They say I can go for two months. I am so happy. I start to plan my trip. I pack my bags. I buy a plane ticket. I can't wait to start my adventure. I say goodbye to my parents. I go to the airport. I am nervous and excited. This is my first time on a plane. The plane is very big. There are many people. The plane takes off. I look out the window. I see my town gets smaller and smaller. Then I see clouds. I feel free. I feel happy. I think about Australia. I think about the new things I will see. The flight is very long. I watch movies. I read books. I try to sleep. Finally, after many hours, the pilot speaks. He says we are near Australia. I look out the window again. I see a new land. It looks very different from Canada. The plane lands. I am in Australia. I feel excited and scared. I walk off the plane. The air feels different. It is warm. I see palm trees. I hear strange bird sounds. I look for my Aunt Sarah. I have a picture of her. I see many people. Then I see her. She looks like my mother but with shorter hair. She smiles at me. She gives me a big hug. Welcome to Australia, Emily, she says. Her voice is friendly. I feel better. We get my bags. We go to her car. As we drive, I see many new things. The buildings are different. The cars drive on the other side of the road. I see strange animals. Aunt Sarah talks about her plans. She wants to show me the city. She wants to take me to the beach. She wants me to see kangaroos and koalas. I am very excited. I know this summer will be amazing. The next few weeks are amazing. And Sarah shows me many new things. We go to the beach. The sand is white. The water is blue. I see colorful fish. I try surfing. It is hard but fun. We visit a wildlife park. I see kangaroos. They are big and strange. I feed them. Their fur is soft. I see kalas. They sleep in trees. They are very cute. Aunt Sarah teaches me about Australian food. I try Vegemite. It tastes strange. I like meat pies. They are delicious. We have a barbecue with her friends. And her mom is friendly. I learn new words. Australians say today instead of hello. They call friends, mate. They say, no worries a lot. It is fun to learn these new words. One day, Aunt Sarah has a surprise. We are going on a camping trip. We drive for many hours. We go to the outback. The outback is the middle of Australia. It is very dry. There are no buildings. There are no people. We set up our tent. We make a fire. We cook our food. At night, we look at the stars. 
There are so many stars. I have never seen so many before. In the morning we go for a walk. Aunt Sarah shows me strange plants. She tells me about the Arisium people. They are the first people of Australia. They have lived here for thousands of years. Suddenly we see something move. It is a snake. Aunt Sarah says it is dangerous. We stand very still. The snake moves away. My heart beats fast. It is scary, but exciting. Two months pass quickly. It is time for me to go home. I am sad to leave. I love Australia. I love the people. I love the animals. I love the adventures. Aunt Sarah takes me to the airport. She gives me a big hug. She tells me to come back soon. I promise I will. On the plane, I think about my trip. I think about all the new things I saw. I think about all the new friends I made. I'm not the same person I was two months ago. I am braver now. I am more confident. As the plane lands in Canada, I feel different. My town looks small now, but I am happy to see my parents. They are happy to see me. I have so many stories to tell them. I know now that the world is big. There are many things to see. There are many adventures to have. I can't wait for my next trip. But for now, I am happy to be home. I am back in my small town. Life is different now. I see my home with new eyes. I tell everyone about my trip. My friends listen to my stories. They think I am brave. My parents are proud of me. They see I have grown up. School starts again. I study hard, but I also think about the future. I want to travel more. I want to learn about other countries. I decide to study languages. I want to speak to people from all over the world. I start to save money. I work part-time at a cafe. Every dollar I save is for my next trip. I don't know where I will go next. Maybe Europe. Maybe South America. The world is big and I want to see it all. At night, I look at the stars. I remember the stars in Australia. They were so bright. I think about Aunt Sarah. I think about the friends I made. I know I will travel again soon. This is just the beginning of my adventures. <laughs>